Hello guys, good afternoon. Good afternoon, my dear lovely people. Welcome to my YouTube channel that is Earth Discoveries. It's a beautiful day that we are meeting. It's a wonderful time that uh, God has given us this opportunity. So guys, um, I'm live today from Nyamweni uh, for the new members that are in this channel. Please feel at home and welcome on board as we move along. I feel uh, welcome. So I was passing by and uh, today I decided to at least stretch my legs. You know, sometimes we usually use these bikes until it's our, our skeletal system. Uh, get used to it to an extent, even walking a little bit. You. Yes, yeah, so guys, I was, um, I was greeting some people here, their neighbors. So by the today from Nya Kengariso, sorry. Uh, land. So these are children that are going to school. It's lunchtime. So they are back now after taking uh, maybe some sweet potatoes or after taking some some cassava, boiled cassavas or some ugali. So they are going back. So here I'm heading to Mama Maria's place. Wow, guys, look. Look what you have done to this lady. In fact, look at her, her crops. They're very healthy, very clean because you gave her money to the fertilizer, to plow, to weed. Wow, I'm really very happy. So, let me check them out. Mura, mambo vipi? Unaenda shule? Mwesha piga kamsosi? Mama yupo? Ameenda wae? Amenda wapi kwanza? Koko. Koko ni mbali? Ah. Sasa nani yuko? Mario anarudi. Oh. Sasa ni simama. Nani? Aisha ka? Nani ako na simu hapo? Ako na. Ako na All right. So that is Mama Maria San. Ule mtoto wenu wa mdogo ungine mwingine yuko? Yuko. Eh. Watch all them dog cups. We move in it. Hey, we move in the square and we put our messy mama pare kacho. Ah, yeah. Yeah. So, guys, that is the son to Mama Maria. As I was saying, he's going to school. Yeah. So I said they're coming from that. So, guys, I was talking about these crops. Can you imagine, guys, that uh, there's a good harvest coming from this land? So, after toiling in the sun, we usually say that uh, after you have toiled in the sun, one day you'll sit down and I'm telling you, you will enjoy from the shade. So, under the shade, you'll just be eating your maize. From the shade, you'll just be enjoying the ugali, the porridge. So, this is what you have done to this lady. In fact, healthy crops. This is Maria. She's going to school. Aria. Araba, ma. Ukopoa. Yeah, so guys, after the day we, we came here, yeah, you remember when I say we came, it is me and you. So since the day we came and this wall was not erected here, this maze, they were very young. But one thing I've noted is that this land is not good with the beans, but maize are doing very fine. And it's very good with sunflowers because there's a plant you're seeing inside there. That is a sunflower, that one. The taller one. Now, welcome again, guys, that we are meeting. We are meeting at Mama Maria eventually after the wall was constructed. Guys, this is a beautiful house that is being erected in this compound. <laughs> I love it, guys. I love it. I love it so much. In fact, the same, same kind of a house as Mama, Mama Fred is having. So, but now we are using different bricks. These are burnt bricks. So, this is the far they have gone. And uh, this does not mean it has stopped. Fellows, in fact, we talked with the fellow, the boy today. He's, he's bringing, in fact, he has brought. I can see some of them. So they're supposed to, to tear so maraba to put a lint on this area where they have reached. 
this is the window area where now window are now formed so Alinto is supposed to be put here so from there now they continue yeah so that is where we have they have stopped guys a good work is done in this area thank you so much for those people who have decided to help this lady you know this is a dream come true this is a dream come true this lady i'm sure she did not even think of having this one day she didn't she did not even know that one day she could have such a house but you people have decided to help her now whenever i say that thank you so much you people i always mean it because who will do this guys i, I wish that one day we can now take you a tour to this village and we count we count how many people are having such structures how many people are having such a toilet very few i'm telling you very few so these two ladies these two widows they are now among the many developed men and families thank you so much thank you because uh, you you make them be represented yeah so that is it so i was meeting these uh, people today uh, you can see fellow the boy even brought some ballast guy okay, good work is going so tomorrow i'm hopefully tomorrow they will now be putting them into yeah so here's mama maria's place mambo marababa okopo nana meleta hizi ndio amezileta sai oh ala so wewe unaenda shule ndio mama ameenda nimeambiwa ameenda siji kwa goko awe nenda mimi sasa unajua leo nimekuja kuona ule jamaa mwenye alikuwa na throw bora bora ulikuwa na throw kasi kile afikia you can see guys the car you brought kwani mmearibu mpaka mguu Ah. Haya. Eh, yako. Yeah, he's giving me. Now, now they, these guys are good friend of mine. <laughs> okay, kopo ah. Kabisa, umetoka shule? Wewe urudi. Eh. Oh. Sasa leo nimetumwa nikuletee gari. Sawa? Gari yako, si ndio? Eh, bosh kwa hiyo one. So guys, I was sent by one of you that I bring this guy a toy car haifungua hapo ndani utoe tuone kitu kiko hapo you see they having quite a number i think one of the wheel has removed uh well, they, i'm going to tell them what they'll do once i call them up they get a super glue they put don't know what they did and it removed because the car is very intact but they removed this one of the legs mhm ah utajua kufungua utajua hiyo ni tip bwana utakuwa mwaga mchanga hapo so as I was saying is that one of you sent me to bring this guy. You know, Mama Maria has sons, right? I think there are four. Yeah, there are four sons. So there's the last one. I had brought him a, a caterpillar. You know caterpillar? Those ones that they, yeah, they are caterpillar crane like. Then I I was also sent by the same person that she observed. She observed that the second, second last one felt bad when he did not get something because you know he's young for the two boys they got a ball left out i may talk up here mugu so i shika that's a weka chini tuone ina kimbia wow na wewe na wewe yako umetoa mugu tena ah shika so so now the young one guys want to take the other one boom yo sasa Unaweka mchanga ndani. Si ndio baba? Hiyo ni ile gari ya hebu shika hapa mbele uinue hivi. Uinue hivi tuone kama hivi. E hivyo. Unaona vile inamwaga? E, unaweka alafu na mwa. Hii sasa hii ni ya kumwaga hapo ndani. Umeelewana? E, hii hii sana chota inamwaga hapo. Siko sawa? Kabisa. E, sasa utakuwa unacheza hiyo, si ndio? Yeah, so guys that these two boys are now sorted. In fact the person who is remaining here I don't know I don't know which toy we can get uh, we can get her it's Maria only it's Maria only <laughs> but remember now Maria is a bit bigger so I don't know what can be done to her so that at least she has uh, she has uh, at least something I don't know a grade 8 no class 8 I don't think that toy maybe a bicycle which a bicycle is a bit expensive because 
mountain bikes they go to 16,000 plus to 20 something thousand now i don't know i don't know but uh, she's the only one remaining now guys you can see joy these young ones they are now enjoying the cars hey if you hi we are not shark one i use us uh -huh. <laughs> all right guys so thank you so much i was at mama maria but she's not in i'm told she has gone to to the mom i think to the mother-in-law but i'm not going to call her because i'm going to to check um to check mama fred so there's something that one of you had sent me again to do for her now i'm going to confirm which day she'll be available now from there we do something about it then stay tuned let's go and check out what mama Fred has in store for us. Thank you so much. Now, here I'm heading to Mama Fred. Ongan, una chunga bab. Kana wembo una chunga tu karibu na maindi da. Ongan. Now, Ongan is not going to school, guys. So he has been given a responsibility of uh, looking after this. Mama Fred, una ndo. Yeah, so guys, this is Mama Fred. Salimia watu. Mm, hi, guys. Yes. Sasa hizi ni good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah, Sasa ni good afternoon. Yeah. Jioni ni good evening. Good evening. Yeah. So guys we are teaching her. Uh -huh. We are teaching her this language. Sasa hii ni ngombe uliko me. Yeah, ni ngombe uliko me. Now the, by the way, by the way guys let me talk about this because yesterday I mentioned this in one of my video. One of you said that we can crush these and we feed the poultry. Now here we did not know about that until recently people discovered that as uh, jose mentioned uh, it was soon discovered but this one we used to feed them to our cows kama ina only come ya ngombe hapa na chumvi juu kidogo ina bomoa hii imeshiba hapa hapo imeshiba hapo na nje sasa sasa ungekaenda kuikatia makoke wapi hapo oh kuna muti oh so this one was fed to the cow and it will be waste. Now this is waste. Simsha ribika. Kisha kanyaga juu. Hai me ribika me kocha me. Eh. Ama unaweza chukua upee mbuzi. Ah ah. Ndio ile takataka kuweka hapo kwa mimi. Mm. Ngolea. All right. So guys, uh, this one was supposed to be reinforced as I am told. Mm. Pamela they will be coming. In fact, they told me that they will be coming to i think to check what is supposed to be done but uh, let me maybe take you a short leak dogo to mama fred said maze hapa sasa unataka tuvune vitu mbili mama fred vitatu kwanza lakini kwa nini kuku zishamaliza oh eh kama ile kama ile kama ile so I was talking to Mama Fred and uh, because you can see intercropping here. There's a lot of mixed cropping here. So we have uh, uh, remember when I took you to Mama Mama Felicia's land. She had maize and she had another crop called sorghum. But now for Mama for Mama Fred is different. Very different. Is it karanga do panda pia? Huh? Now she has in fact four crops in the same piece. So this other small crop you are seeing that has been eaten by a cow. This one, this one that you are seeing. That is finger millet. Very good crop for, for porridge. Alongside that, we, we have maize. Apart from the maize, we have groundnuts. Mama Maria wanted to harvest everything, a small piece of land, but everything. Sorry, 
Onganyi had left the cow. Onganyi had left the cow to feed on the maize. You know, these ways they have come a long way, guys. After you people sponsored this this uh, family with the with the fertilizer, the weeding, the the, the, the seedlings. By the way, I forgot about the seedlings. In fact, guys, I'm telling you, it's a, it's an amazing thing because. What you are seeing is the result of what you people have done to this family. Now, I'm happy this land has groundnuts. It has uh, some beans, some some beans. But she has said that she will not harvest a lot of uh, beans because the, 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 the poultry, the hens and the cocks, they have destroyed everything. I told you that they like the flowers that comes from the, comes from the, 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 the beans. Now she's there, she's trying to cut the banana because she she's helping Onganya, I think, in terms of in terms of uh, grazing this cow. I want to show you what she's doing. This is what we used to do. In fact, this is what we do to our cows. You can see how the cow is enjoying. let Hey, now after chopping that one like that. Now you mix. You mix with the salt. Wow. I'm afraid you are not Hmm? Kazu meiva kuiva. Chunga bana. Chunga yoni pang. So this is a plant, a banana plant that we use. Uh, we use. Guys, you know, there's a time I was thinking, uh, my own ideas. What if this lady, uh, because this cow is not hers. What if this lady decided uh, to sell the, the, the goats, the three goats she's having, and exchange that with, to get a cow, her own cow? What do you think, guys? Because, one, a cow it is easier to feed. Goats, you'll have to look for bushes. I'll show you. For bushes, so that you can, you can tie them. Yeah, like this. Now imagine this person decided to clear this bush. What will happen to the goats? And you have seen by them, Mama, Mama, Mama Fred's land does not have any hedge. Let me call them hedges because they cleared when the car passed here. That one is not even fed by goats. So my own idea was, what if she decided to sell these goats, the three goats? Because here, when you have three goats, you have a cow. And the goats are very good, by the way. She can get, not a young one. Then she take care of that one instead now of having someone. She was, so she returned this one and keep her own cow. Now that one they are putting salt to make it tasty for the cow. Remember cows like salt? Yeah. So nataku cut out. Alright. So ngany hapa mepona. Ama si mame tu angali. Uta si mama hapa ngany. Kwe. Ama una ona ajo ngany. So guys this is what you are supposed to do. Once you grew in the village. Ah, I'm telling you. This, this is how you... Now the problem, let me tell you the disadvantages of feeding this banana plant to cows. Especially those cows that are being milked. The milk become light. That is one discovery that I came to prove. Why do we say that? Okay, it is said that a cow that is being milked, it needs a lot, a lot of water. But now the water that comes from this plant... I don't know what happened because they make the milk a bit lighter. And again, okay, they produce a lot of milk when you feed them. But another disadvantage is that they don't now drink the real water. Real water they don't. They don't drink. <laughs> that is now the problem. Now, Maria is doing it. My friend is doing it very well. Very well. Chunga bwanu. I mean, I know. Uh, now the cow is enjoying it because it has some salt. Pole, man. Pole. man. Uh, so that is a uh, work that uh, is very tiresome. Ah, why are you going so angry? Why are you not taking care of the cat? Your mama make a kitchen. Yeah, so that is angry. He's doing his part. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So I'm afraid. Unakitu ni mekuja kuliza. Kipande yako imetok. Oh, yeah, yeah.
Sijaiona tu endo nionyeshe. So guys, I was sent here. In fact, I was sent money for this lady for the health insurance. So that is why I came here today. So for us in the Kenyan system we have the health insurance. Mm, you must have a national identification card which now one of you also sponsored that for her to process that she went only that it took long to an extent now the money that we were having we had to the person who sent that money said let use that money somewhere else again she sent another money sasa i'm afraid pesa yako ya ya nif unajua nif imeiritumwa sasa nacho nataka uniambie ni siku gani utakuwa free sawa Siku gani utakuwa na nafasi kama ni Jumamosi watoto wakiwa hapa ukuje nya Bohanse nikupeleke ufanye nini usajiliwe hapa kesho kesho mm. kesho tutegemea ni kwa wapi haya tuende kwanza tuone kitambo kisha haya so i wanted to know to know exactly the dates so she's saying she's available anytime now i'm glad that the, the id came yeah. so which is big problem a big problem guys but thank you so much that the person that helped her to get the id the office they played their part it came as mingapi mine oh so it stayed for months najaka yeah. kitu kalikuwa kama talk yeah so the, the id stayed for four months imagine four months nothing is instant so let's check the id then from there now we get the dates then uh, banana plant that my friend was cutting came from me So kivuli hapa kimeisha sasa. All right guys because that banana plant is the one that we having as a shade. All right guys so I'm inside mama friend's house. You can see it was very hot outside. I want to check the ID of this lady. Aha. Okay. This one I'm not supposed to show this one. I'm not supposed to show the ID, the, the, the documents. But uh, I'm not supposed to show the details. But this is the ID. The way I am holding it, this one, this one, the highly. Yeah, so it's out. So agree the date when the day she will be coming to Nyabohansi because she has children. So when she's available, then she comes to Nyabohansi, she gets ID. A national health insurance fund done. Hiyo na juu kitengenezewa chukua mwaka mzi. Lakini kisha ikitengenezwa inakaa kama aga kama siku kama miezi miwili ndio inaanza kufanya kazi hiyo 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 nifu hiyo ya hospitali miezi miwili alafu una birth certificate za watoto shika sasa kwa sababu zile wanafaa waweko pia over size ukinini wewe tu ndio utaweka lakini uzi mbona mu process wa hapa wakati shule liko mpaka baraka hana certificate iwezekana. Na mtoto amepita ako class 5. Anza 5 hadi pitaje class 4. Sasa huko huko iko. Iko sasa huko. Ah, ah, nilitumia guys. So I was just confirming about the the birth certificate for this because they need to be also put in this health insurance. So she'll start with that process. I don't know why she said because schools were doing it some time back and it was a bit cheaper for parents because they're only paying a subsidized amount of money per child then they take them to the registration office where they're supposed to get them those uh, birth certificate and it's that but now I don't know what happened so she's supposed to get them so that they're incorporated in the insurance fund they're treated whenever they're sick so ni hivyo so thank you so much so much for the person that sent this money the day that mama afraid will come for the insurance i will take her to the facility that they register and i'll pick a short video for that all of you will be aware that she's registered so you just agree when she's ready and that is thank you so much have a lovely moment from zach discovery kengaris village bye bye